Hi, I'm Hattie Slayton. And I'm Reese Stilley. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Rams Network. Network. And here's breaking news for you. For you, We have a tragic story. Reporter Brecken is on scene with the very latest. Here's your breaking news of a robbery in Hot Springs. My name is Brecken Eason and I'm with Rams Network. There's been a robbery at, this, at the art camp. Myth Johnson, the art camp teacher. The thief was unidentified and ran away in an instant after the robbery. And here's a question to really spin your brain. How much money did that mischievous thief steal? I would guess about fifteen or 20000 Now, So first, what things did the robbers steal? So they stole some of my art supplies. I had some really, really cool paint pens and some um, black paper that my students were going to use and um, just like, I, and I just don't know what I'm going to do without them this week. And oh, and some skateboards. I, we, we're making skateboards and they stole some skateboards. Oh, yeah. uh, and what do you think the thief looked like? Well, the only thing that I caught out of the corner of my eye was that they were a little bit shorter. They, like, they weren't a very tall, I think it might have been a woman, maybe a kid. But it, it, they were so fast that I didn't get a very good look. Mm -hmm. And uh, where were the where were all the art supplies? They were in my classroom. I thought that it was a very safe place to put them. I had no idea that there could be a robbery in my classroom. And what else? What else? What else? Was there? How how did you feel after the robbery? really sad because I had worked really hard to make this art camp something fun for my students to come in and create and now I don't really know how I'm going to be able to do it now that I've been robbed. And how much money do you think that he stole? I think it was a few hundred dollars worth of supplies. Mm. Yeah. That'll, that'll That's all? Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you so much for reporting time. this. So my name is Brecken Eason and today I'm in art camp and there's been some robbery at the art camp today. And I am here to report all this with a student of the art camp. And what are some things that you can remember about the bird? Um, there were two little girls. They took all our art supplies. They took the brushes, the markers, the pens. Completely devastated about the whole ordeal. And what are, uh, so, where in the classroom were all the art supplies? Um, they were on the shelves and stuff. I think that's them over there, actually. Oh, oh. Well, there. Wow, Rick, and that was a very tragic story. Here's the weather with Lily Kate. Hi, I'm Lily Kate, and this is this week's weather. Today is Tuesday and it is going to be sunny with a chance of a storm and a high of 91 degrees. It sure is hot here in the studio too. I wish I had a popsicle. Tonight it is going to be partly cloudy Wednesday is going to be sunny with a high of 93 degrees. Thursday has a 30% chance of rain, but it's still going to be hot and sunny. With Friday will continue to chance of a rain, of rain with a 20% chance and still super hot with a high of 90 degrees. That's the weather for this week. Again, I'm Lily Kay, and thanks for tuning into Rams Network. That's some very great weather. Don't miss out on some swimming and hiking in, in this great weather. Looks like the Razorback baseball team couldn't make it to the Super Regionals. Their season is now over. Lakeside MTXE is practicing in the junior high gym. They are getting ready for state. Volleyball practice with Coach Big Ben as helping. They're in their stance right now and 
they're working really hard getting ready for state. My name is Hattie and I'm a reporter. That's the end of the Rams Network. Thanks for watching the Rams Network.